What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so we're going to be continuing our legendary captures and all that stuff. Many of you guys already know in the last episode, we kind of went through it a lot. Didn't realize there was a few things that we kind of messed up on. And that was A, we may or may not have, uh, yeah, we may or may not have uh, not saved our game entirely through last week's episodes, which uh, kind of put me into this whole full Pokedex mode and not realizing that, well, we didn't get the national decks. And then, yeah, we we're all maxed out on uh, captured Pokemon and all that stuff. So, my bad. That's my bad. Can't really do anything about it now because, well, we have we already, technically, we've already saved the game. So, in this episode right here, we're going to be capturing a butt ton of legendary Pokemon because, well, we are at the end of this whole game. Most of them are event Pokemon, and, uh, yeah, we gotta get this done. So, this event right here is the Darkrai event. Now, this coincides with both the Cresselia and Darkrai Pokemon. All you need to do is press the L and R button, and what needs to happen next is you need to go straight into the Pokemart. What happens here is you're gonna be finding the man in green yet again. And he's gonna be like, good evening, you must be Draven, and, well, he's gonna be giving us a member's card. This right here is, a uh, well, this right here is going to be something uh, of worth because the next place we need to go to is Canalave City. And, well, we're going to be flying our Pokemon all the way there, which is not really that far. And here we are in Canalave City. Now, I believe you have to go to the Sailor's House because there is something afoot right here. I think it's right around here. So, as you guys can see, the young kid is now asleep, and there is something going on. He's like, the little boy is thrashing about in his sleep. He appears to be in torment, and he is muttering something. Dark. Dark. Dark is watching me. Hmm. Something is happening, and if we talk to the mom, she's like, I never thought our boy would fall into an endless nightmare. It's happened in the past in Candelave. There were people who never woke up from their nightmares. That is until they were awoken using the something called the Lunar Wing. My husband went to find the Lunar Wing on Full Moon Island, but he has failed. Does it take a trainer to do that? We feel so frustrated by this. Okay, so what needs to happen next is you need to go straight to the sailor right here, and he's going to be like, You, you're going to Full Moon Island for us? Yes, we're both counting on you. Only you can awaken my son from his awful nightmare. Please, I need the Lunar Wing from the Full Moon Island, Full Moon Island to awaken him. I went, but I, I, I failed to find it. Anchors away. So that is pretty much what's going to happen right now, guys. Is we're going to be going into Full Moon Island because two things happen right here. One, you're going to be finding Cresselia as a roaming Pokemon, but you're also going to be getting yourself a Lunar Wing. This also triggers the Darkrai event. So as you guys can see, here is Full Moon Island, and all you need to do now is go straight into this little forest area. And from here, you're going to be finding Cresselia. Talk to Cresselia, bam. It's going to disappear, but it's going to leave you a nice gift, and that is, the Pokemon flew off somewhere, there is something sparkling where the Pokemon once was, and that is the Lunar Wing. So now that you got Cresselia, as you guys can see on the bottom of the screen, you now have four roaming Pokemon, or I have four roaming Pokemon. That is going to be that is going to be fun because well, crud, crud baskets. I hate roaming Pokemon. Now, once we found the lunar uh, the lunar wing, we can talk to this guy, and he's just going to be thankful, thankful, very very thankful that well we got the lunar wing back. So we're going back. And all we need to do now is go back into the house and talk to this kid. He's going to be like uh, thrashing about in his sleep and the lunar wing began to glow. The boy's sleeping face became untroubled and serene. The little boy awoke. And there it is. We saved the day. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you're awake. Oh my son, I don't know what to say. Thank you. We'll never forget you. Seeing you back to normal makes me feel great. I've regained my spirit as a sailor. Come sail with me later. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. And well, if once we talked to the kid, he's like, I couldn't wake up. I saw it. It was a scary dream. It was a dark place. And there was a dark Pokemon. But, Ma but Daddy and Mommy, I could always hear your voices. That right there triggers the Dark Rite event, which 
is still here in Cantalave City. So now, what's going to happen here, guys... I did say this in the last few episodes, uh, back in Monday's episode, yes. Uh, we're right here towards the end of this whole walkthrough. At this point, I don't care how I capture these Pokemon. I'm just showing you guys how to do it. That way, the challenge is right there because, well, this game, not my favorite. Even though it's not my favorite, I'm still going to do what I got to do in order to finish this whole walkthrough. So in this one, we're going to be capturing all four roaming Pokemon that are left, Darkrai and Heatran. That right there is a total, a whopping total of six, six Pokemon. The next episode is going to be the Golem Pokemon, which, of course, you got the Regis, which is four Pokemon, and the three legendary Pokemon of Sinnoh, also finishing up with the Arceus event. And then from there, bam, we're going to be done. We're going to be doing our whole thing with the Pokemon League, which is something that you guys have been wait waiting to see. So let's go straight into the next place right here, and that is the Darkrai event. Now, if you guys remember, there is a, an abandoned house right here. This was the Harbor Inn, a roost of four restless sailors. Enjoy sweet dreams in our sumptuous beds. And yeah, that... Yeah, to me, that like that boat does not make any sense. I think this person... Yeah, okay, somebody makes sense of this whole thing. So, once you get the member's card, you'll be able to walk in here. And this guy's like, Welcome. We've had a reservation for you. We've held it a long time. And, uh, well, we lay down on the bed as if uh, bitten there. And next thing you know it... Holy buckets. So here we are in another island. As you guys can see on the map right there, it has appeared. And this one leads us straight to Darkrai. Darkrai, as many of you guys already know, is a legendary dark type Pokemon that can just mess you up. And, uh, well, look at that. This Pokemon right here has been waiting for us. And yes, we're just going to be battling in it, uh, battling it and then just capturing it through the means that we want we want to capture it. So as you guys can see, here it is guys. We're going to be talking taking on Darkrai. And this Pokémon is no joke when it comes to battling, especially in competitive battles. I can see why. We're going to go with a Shockwave. Now, it will put you to sleep. Its effect will make you will take HP from you. So you best you best be prepared right here and oh my god that was a critical hit and this guy is a very very fast Pokemon. Yeah, Dark Rise evasiveness has fallen or has gone up. So we're gonna be going with a Thunder Wave that does not work. But here is its hypnosis. Now again, Dark Rise way to beating you is putting you to sleep. Then its effect I can't remember what it was called. I think it's Nightmare of course. It's gonna just you know take it take your HP away. So either way you look at it, it's gonna try and do something messed up to you. Now, I get it. It's uh, you know, it's paralyzed and all that stuff. And here comes its nightmare attack. Now it has that right there will mess you up in both ways. So we're gonna try and capture this Pokemon right here with a. Well, we're gonna go with an Ultra Ball right here. And like I said, I'm capturing these Pokemon no matter how we do it. So this is gonna be an easy capture. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves Darkrai. Now, did I forget to mention? The action replay code will be there on the description. We're not going to get any Pokedex entries from this guy because, well, like I said early on in this in this walkthrough, yeah. Or early on in this episode, yeah, we kind of messed up a little. So, as you guys can see, a voice called out from somewhere. Darkrai, your power is strong. Though you, though you, though you don't will it, you make people in Pokemon around you see terrible nightmares. That is why you came here. New Moon Island, there is no one but you here. There is none that can uh, be drawn into your nightmare. If anyone were to fall into a nightmare, the Full Moon Island is close by. Hmm. So, after capturing Darkrai, you're going to wake up. And the, f the messed up thing about this is that the tenant is gone. We heal up. And, well... There's something weird about this. Good evening. It's now time for Reckon Records. Okay, so I am not doing anything right here. Okay, so that right there is it. And that right there is how you captured Darkrai. Now, the sailor that you helped, he's like, you've been asleep for a long time. Long, long time. What happened to you? 
And what were you doing here? No one's lived here in f uh, for 50 years. Oh, wow. That is scary. Very, very scary. So, anywho. What's going to happen next is we're going to be doing the roaming Pokemon, okay? Like I said, th these are all going to be easy captures. I'm going to teach you guys where to capture these guys. And then from there, bam. Capture them and all that stuff. Now... In case you guys were wondering, let's go into the Pokemon, uh, Pokedex entry. The next Pokemon we got is Darkrai, the pitch black Pokemon. To protect itself, it inflicts those around with nightmares. However, it means no harm. Looks menacing. Just uh, very, very menacing. So, I'm gonna go back to Jubilife Town and we're gonna get started with the whole roaming Pokemon event. Alrighty, so here we are in Jubilife City, guys. Now, this is, uh, well, this is probably the place where you need to go in order to capture these Pokemon easily. As you guys can see onto the bottom of the screen, you can actually find these roaming Pokemon around, okay? This is probably one of the best, uh, best installments to, uh, what was it called? Hold on just a sec. Yeah, keep on getting phone calls. This is getting ridiculous. So what I was saying, guys, so what we need to do now is we need to go up and down. Giggity. And like I was saying, it, this is one of, one of the best installments that Pokemon has ever done, and that is put in a radar and then put the, the sprites right there to know exactly where these Pokemon are. Many of you guys already know that roaming Pokemon were just horrible to try and capture to, or try and find. And, uh, right here, it's made it so easy that, you know what, look at that. It's switching back and forth right here, and, well, we got a roaming Pokemon. So, what we're gonna be doing is getting a Max Repel, and, well, oh, wow, okay, so, we kind of messed up right there. Yeah, we kind of messed up right there, so, we kind of need to, like, <laughs> yeah, we messed up, because most of our Pokemon are above level 50, and, yeah, that's not gonna work out, so... I think they're gonna go away. Probably, I don't know. We're trying to waste this. Uh, we're trying to waste this repel right here. Oh my God! Good old Draven, excited over all these Pokemon that he can actually capture now. Oh my God! Come on, let's go, repel. How many? How many steps? 250? 255? Let's see. Come on. Where are you? Come on. There you go. Okay. So we're gonna be walking through the grass. And there it is. This looks like Moltres right here. And it is at level 60. Good gravy. Okay, so I could have just walked through that. I was thinking Cresselia. So, what's going to happen here is I'm just, uh, well, I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm not gonna battle it. Like it's gonna run away. So, I'm just gonna capture it with an Ultra Ball. Like I said before, guys, I installed the code just to capture this Pokemon easily. Why? Because, well, guess what? I am tired. I am ready to be done with this game. Here it is. I'm leading you towards the water. And there you go, guys. We got ourselves Moltres. That's one of the roaming Pokemon that you can actually find right here. The next one is going to be, well, hopefully Articuno or Zapdos. So I'll be right back with you guys once we find the next of the roving Pokemon. Okay, so here's the next one. It took me quite a while to get, but here we have Articuno. And the Pokemon that I'm starting off with is Porygon because, well, look at that. Level 25, what's it going to do right here? And as many of you guys already know, Articuno does have uh, pressure as well. So let's go right ahead and capture this little sucker right here. So there it is, Ultra Ball, easy capture, easy capture. Yes, I already know I'm gonna get commented on the on the, on, the, on the the thing right there. It's like, wow, you're using cheats to do this to finish this off. Yeah, I could care less. I really could. I'm just, I'm done with this game. I really am. I know that I'm expressing my opinion right here, guys, but you know. It's much better to just finish it off on a good note like this than to just, uh, well, then to just struggle a little bit because, like, I'm not in this for the struggle. Many of you guys already know, this game, not my favorite. I might as well finish it while I'm at, like, while I'm at it and all that stuff. So, there it is. And, well, we're going to continue on. We got two more Pokemon, which one, one of them is Zapdos, and the other one is Cresselia. So... Let's go right ahead and fast forward to where we need to get these guys. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay. So the next Pokemon on the list is Zapdos. Now, we've seen this guy before when we unlocked him. And 
As many of you guys already know, Zapdos also does have pressure. And, well, Porygon is exerting that pressure too, so two can play at that game. Unfortunately, we're just going to capture you very, very easily. Look at that. Yes. Capturing Zapdos very, very easily. And, uh, well... There it is. Now, once we get to that Pokedex entry, we will be reading them. We will be doing everything right there. So, there it is, guys. Zapdos. And now, we're going to be going straight for Cresselia. So, I'll be right back with you guys. And, uh, well, here it is. Cresselia. Now, Cresselia, the way... The funny thing is, guys, if you're doing the whole Max Repel thing, and, uh, you know, you got a Pokemon like me... Cresselia's uh, entry, or like, you know, when you try and find Cresselia, it's going to be the same thing as, you know, regular wild Pokemon. So, be aware of all that stuff. Now, here we have Cresselia. Easy Pokemon. It is not that strong, but it is a very, very, uh, you know, very, well, it does like to use Psychic-type moves and all that crud. Can't really say much. So, there it is, guys. Cresselia has been captured. And, well, we're going to be fast-forwarding to the PC to see all these Pokemon and then after that go ahead and take a look at the Pokedex entry. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are in the PC and we are going to be looking at all the Pokemon, all the roaming Pokemon plus Shaman and uh, yeah, we're going to be looking at their in or their entries and what kind of moves they have. So as you guys can see, all three legendary birds from Kanto are at level 60. We got Articuno right here, the ice and flying type Pokemon. As you guys can see, it is a very special defensive Pokemon. Very, very defensive. Has pressure, and as you guys can see, it has agility, ice beam, reflect, and roost. The next Pokemon is Zapdos. As you guys can see, it has charge, ability, discharge, roost. And it does like its special attack, so just be aware of that. Yeah, it's going to mess you guys up. Now, the next Pokemon right here is Moltres. This guy is the jack of all trades, of, you know, obviously, because it, it's a very special attacker, and it does have a physical attack right here, has pressure as well, and it does have flamethrower, safeguard, air slash, and roost. The next Pokemon on the list is Cresselia, the Pokemon that is opposite of Darkrai. This Pokemon is a pure psychic type Pokemon. And, well, as you guys can see, very special defensive. Has the Levitate technique, which gives feel, uh, full immunity to all ground-type moves. And, well, does have some nice moves right here. Mist, Aurora Beam, Future Sight, and Slash. The next Pokemon, Darkrai. This Pokemon right here is a pure Dark-type Pokemon. This guy has the ability Bad Dreams. Reduces its Sleeping Foe's HP. This guy can be a very, very good Pokemon in competitive play just because of that one ability alone. Has very good special attack. Its speed is through the roof. And, well, let's go back to this guy. It's at level 50. Has Hypnosis, Faint Attack, Nightmare, and Double Team. You guys can see that? It, it just, it just, it can mess you up badly. So, the final Pokemon on this list is Shaman. It is a grass type Pokemon. And, well,. It has natural cure. All status problems are healed upon switching out, and well, has some regular moves like any kind of grass type legendary Pokemon. We got growth, magical leaf, leech seed, and synthesis. Okay, so this has been this has been the the episode of the roaming Pokemon. This is what the second to last episode, I believe, maybe third to last episode of this whole walkthrough in the next one we're going to be capturing the next few pokemon we're going to be capturing heatran the reggies all four of them which is reggie rock reggie ice reggie steel and reggie gigas that's five and we're going to be finishing off by capturing dialga palkia and arceus all well arceus as many of you guys already know is a is a what was it called an action replay code so we're gonna be unlocking that and then we're gonna finish off this walkthrough with the Pokemon League in its entirety hopefully we don't struggle like last time thank you guys again for being uh, understanding watching and everything I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough see you guys